like that is not going up on them. I do notice that we do live in Niles County. And once we do improve the areas, like um, take it into the Troop Street area, got improved, and all those, they got a sidewalk on them. Now all those houses, their tight, their taxes went up because the property value went up. And the city did do a lot, did money doing that, and also the county. The uh, millage rate went up, and the, the county got more money, but the county did not put anything towards helping that. So maybe we can reverse the uh, millage rate or find some type of way that we, that the city could get more money off of the, you know, when they get the value of the houses for us for all the work they do in the city. See what I'm saying? Like, we improved the, the area of the city. But by improving that, we also improve, we also increase the uh, property tax for the citizens. Well, the, the city can charge so much now because the house went up, but the county can too. The city puts all the effort in and all the finance, but the county doesn't. So what I'm saying is why maybe we can get well, we can fix the millage rate where the city, the city uh, citizens pay less millage rate to the county since they, you know, they get a large cut, but they don't give back to that. You know what I'm saying? If I improve my property because I increase my value is the city went in there, they paid the street, they made it look better. So that means the value went up in the house. My property tax went up. By doing that, I am paying a higher millage rate, a higher amount. Same millage rate, higher amount. I'm also doing that with the county. And the county gets much more than what the city did. But the, city, the county invested nothing in helping to improve. So what I was thinking, maybe we could try to look at changing the millage rate that the um, county gets. For the citizens, for the citizens, citizens in the city. Why are they going up because of housing? Why are they going up because of the improvement? The improvement. 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 The I have by this sidewalk coming in. If it improves the value of my house, but my millage rate is the same, naturally I am going to pay more money because my house and my value of my house is going up. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, why should I have to pay more? Since the, the, the city is doing that, should the city get more money so they can pay more streets? We're giving more to the county. I asked a citizen when I improved my life, my house got improved with the sidewalk and everything. I paid more money to the county rather than paying it to the city. I mean, I'm glad it went up, but to get more more uh, sidewalks in the city paid, then we need to get more money. That's all I'm saying. We get more. Do not understand what I'm saying. I, I, I totally understand what you're saying. I totally understand what you're saying. So the it's city not that made I don't want the value to go up. I want the to get more The city made the improvement. Your home value went up, but the county gets more that's went out. I'm so we see, we're still trying to see why the city can't get more. And I think that's part of the agreement that we're gonna to have to, you know, we're gonna to have to go back to the table and see how we can fix that okay. right now. That's I'm something that I can't give you an answer on right now because I don't, I don't have an answer. Tim? Well, as much as I love the thought of it, that, that we could do something like that, um, realistically, when you think about what our property tax is paid for, we know in the city it pays for, it goes to the general fund, 60% of our general fund is uh, public safety, fire department, police department. The county is not much different. The monies that go into the county's general funds, while it's it's different because of the structure, because you have constitutional officers with the sheriff's department and the tax commissioners. Of course so, it is. But I would imagine, what little bit of knowledge I do have about the county's budget, that the bulk of those property dollars go to fund savings our single biggest expenses. Uh, like the city, the cost of doing business in this, uh, for the city of Alaska is going up. It cost us more today than it did 20 years ago to fund those departments. The same thing is going to be true for the county. They're going to have those, see those same increases. So while uh, you, could, you could certainly make an argument that an increase in value in city property uh, should be offset by a decrease in county taxes. 
overall, you'll never get that mathematical formula to work because they've got to provide services too. They're mandated by the state to, to provide those services. Uh, so it'd be fun to sit down and debate it, but I don't ever see that happen. Well, I've seen it in other cities and other cities have talked to me, so you may not want to sit down and do it. That's what you're saying. You don't want to sit down and do it. No, 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 no. no. That's what you're saying. What, talking about. what I'm just saying is uh, talking with other cities and counties, they have done this right. They have legal justice. There are some. And there are some who have done that. And it's working fine. I mean, their counties, are, they are operating just fine. And their cities are too. It's just that the city is, since they are putting more in, they get more back on their return that they're putting in. But, and others are doing that as well. But I'm not convinced that, that, that let's use your example hypothetically, that a sidewalk, I'm, I'm, I don't think a sidewalk is the result, or the, the increased value is the result of the sidewalk going in. I mean, I guess we could argue that all day long. What's happened is the increase in values and why we're seeing so many cases before the Board of Equalization is, it's just we don't have enough tax assessors to, to assess everybody's properties every year. So what's happened is you know, they, they do them in block. We've provided them as much as we can possibly afford in technology and being, being able to reassess properties every every so often. But I, mean, I think that's about a six to 10 year cycle. So what's recently happened is a lot of folks have had their, sorry, have had their properties reassessed after five or six years and they've seen an increase in that value, which obviously increases property taxes. But, you know, to your point a minute ago, I mean, you know, some of those same people who say, tax assessment my house is worth $150,000, you know, well, they want to sell it for two fifty. dollars You know, they, they think in their mind it's valued a lot more than what it really is, except for when the tax assessor gives it something close. So, my point in saying that is, I mean, I'd be more than willing to, to, to grab a few other commissioners, set, set up a meeting, sit down and, and, and talk about this. But I'm not convinced that a sidewalk is increasing the value of a home. I think it's just that rotation that we're seeing come through right now. So you're saying, it's the tax so, so you're saying that when we get our permits, that the city doesn't know that we own the property of the home or the properties? You can't get an assessment from that? Uh, we just throw that just to give money. No, no, no. It, it, it's noticed, but it might, it, it probably won't be that year or probably not even the next year. It'll be picked up eventually. Yeah, your house, house, house is not my house. house. We're, we're talking about that right now. We're talking about building something on the property. Yeah, I've got four upgrades in my house. I'm going to last seven years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And each time, you have to get a permit. No, that's correct. And what you pay for it will be and, they, and what they bring back tells you what the upgraded value of your home is. So why are we waiting 10 years? But that's two different departments. The, the, yeah. the Special Community Development Department handles those upgrades and those permits that you're talking about. The Board of Assessors is the ones that goes out and assesses the value of your home. So I mean, but I see your point. I mean, <laughs> a common you know thought would be, well, the yeah. permit office yeah. sends those. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what I'm saying. saying. That's what I'm saying. But, you know, but that's a double-edged sword, too, because as an elected official, then I get people calling, and these folks there, too, saying, you know, my goodness, you know, this, I just did this, this uh, improvement, and we are raising my taxes. That's right. So, if, we spend, if we spend more money right, at the overhead of running the tax, uh, the inspection department, and what it brings in, we supplement it. It doesn't pay for itself. Yeah. Yeah.
as it is anyone else. But I see that people like my dad went to Vietnam and fought and came back and still was treated the way he was. So we have to get everyone out here to realize this is all about this. This nation belongs to all of us. This city right here belongs to everyone. You run for office, you go out here, you knock on doors, you ask people to come and participate. If they don't participate, there's nothing we can do. All we can do is do our job, and when they complain, we give them the information. Okay, have you contacted me? They say no. Have you came to me? They say no. Who have you asked? No. They will rather talk to people who don't have the answers and take secondhand information than to get it from the people who sit in on the meeting, sit in on the policy decisions, and go from there. All we can do as elected officials is try to represent city the best way we know how, the county the best way we know how, and trust that everyone out here believes that we're going to do that. And, and so I, I, I really, to answer your question, I I can answer it off camera, but I can't answer it on camera. I'll give you the answer that you want. Yeah, the red, you have a question first? Jimmy, you have a question first? 